Hi, welcome back to Raunchy Reality Recaps. Today we're going over Taylor and Chance. Now, last time we saw Taylor and Chance, um, Chance apparently had a lot of past due bills um, from credit card and um, lenders and everything that was due. And apparently, uh, Taylor doesn't know exactly how much credit card debt Chance has. Now, they also were together putting up a crib when a phone call came through and Chance apparently didn't want to tell Taylor who was on that phone call. So anyways, we get to this week and the first scene is where they, or, um, well, I'm sorry, Taylor is with her friend at a store for um, baby, like a baby store, picking out clothes and everything. Now, apparently, um, the baby's due in about eight weeks, I think it was, and they haven't got much. They just got in the crib. It needs clothes and everything. And her friend mentioned, you know, she can go to one of those um, outlet donation centers, I guess, where they have, like, different um, baby clothes and everything, and they give them away for free. Um, well, Taylor, being the person that she is, doesn't think they should have to do that since, you know, he, Chance has a decent job. He's been making money, you know, and if it wasn't for him spending money, they would have the money to go buy this. And apparently, he's been spending a lot of money, um, it looks like. She says, uh, like, from drinks that he gets every day to, when he goes to work, and then also on apps on his phone, even saying he spent $300 on an app. Now, you have a baby coming. You're already basically supporting other children as well and a full-grown adult woman that's having your child, yet Chance wants to spend money on different things instead of actually making sure the baby has what it needs. And I know when you have a baby and when you're pregnant, you that mind of yours wants to make sure everything is in order you know the less stress you have is best you know and it's only a few weeks until the baby gets here and he's not even letting her enjoy the fact of setting up the room having everything ready so she can just rest in peace the last few weeks that she has and I mean I think it's really messed up and I like her friend because apparently her friend thinks the same way you know that it is messed up and you know Taylor should I'm sorry, Chance should be able to get his crap together, you know, because other people come out of jail and get their stuff together as well. Okay, so that's where the first scene ends. And then we go to the next scene where um, Chance is actually um, at, a, I guess, a friend of his, his yard, and he's trying to pressure wash his driveway so he can apparently try to make money because he says that, you know, once you get one... Um, driveway pressure washed or whatever and everybody else in the neighborhood wants theirs done as well so we'll see exactly how that turns out but his friend's like happy to let him be his guinea pig you know and chance like no i'm happy to you let me and you know this is only the second time i pressure wash so hopefully i don't put a hole in it and you just see the guy like kind of look on his face where he's like dude i know it's free but don't screw up my driveway you know like oh gosh Chance is an idiot, at least in, in my opinion. I, I, I never really liked him too much. <laughs> so, we'll see how this goes. But anyways, um, he ends up um, talking about how, you know, Taylor's worried. And, you know, saying that she don't know what real money is. She's never made real money, so she don't understand. Dude, um, no, I don't think he understands. Taylor's taking care of her children and, you know, she's had to do that as a single mom, basically. You know, she may not have made, you know, money like he might be making, but she made the money to pay the bills and keep her children in a house. So, you know, it's to me, it just seems disrespectful. Like, she is like a child because she's never had a, jo a job making as much money as he is. When, if you look at it, to me, the child's the one spending money on crap that's not for a family when he has a family, you know? So, and that's another reason I don't like Chance. 
So anyways, after that little stunt he wanted to talk about, he ends up, his child, his son, um, ends up calling him, uh, and he said, ends up calling him on the phone, and he was talking about how he didn't get to see him for 18 years because his mother kept him away from him because he had a drug habit, and after that, he was in and out of prison, so he hasn't seen his child for a long time. So, of course, he wants to get, you know, back, you know, together with him hang out and you know catch up and everything and he you know asked him to come down but the son said he didn't have any money well without thinking about it without you know wondering hey I need to spend money on a child that I have coming in and I have a family and I have a person I need to talk to about this he just says oh I'll buy you a plane ticket right now like this is why you're in the situation with Taylor you're in so I think this is really um Really, what's going to be the storyline for this season is him hiding the fact that he's gambling, or not gambling, but spending tons of money. He's in debt and not able to afford stuff, and him just spending money, or, well, keep on spending money, and her trying to find out. And him sneaking around, and her thinking he's cheating, when really he's just being a butthole that wants to spend all their money and not spend it on the baby she's pregnant with so um i hope everything changes i hope he gets his senses together but that's what we have for this week um i'll also be um doing uh Lindsay and Blaine and um, the other one is uh, next and then I'll also be doing a few other as well today hopefully so um, again uh, like and subscribe and we'll be bringing you more videos as well thanks